You're listening to the Best Morning Routine Ever podcast, the show that proves no one stumbles upon success ever. With your host, Lou Need. Every Mondays and Thursdays, we deliver cold heart evidence behind the power of a robust morning routine. Get ready to be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Hello, morning enthusiasts. Welcome to the Best Morning Routine Ever podcast. My name is Lunid, your host, and today I am honored to sit with you to go over the third success principle in our um, journey. The first one we discussed was thoughts become things. It's about writing down your goals and what we plant in our mind. And the second we talked about uh, back in August was the mastermind. We are the average of the five people we hang around with to ensure that we surround ourselves with high level individuals so that we can leverage on their skill sets and learn and grow. So today I have the opportunity to talk to you about the habit of going the extra mile. This is the third principle that we will cover today. And this habit allows you to promote yourself from a lower bracket of income or lower bracket of where your business is and to actually take you to a higher bracket of achievement. It could be substantial growth. It could be any goal, any desire, any achievement that you have planted in your mind. We do so by rendering more service and better service than you are expected to give and doing it with a positive mental attitude, with a smile on your face. And I want to talk to you about that today. With the goal setting portion of the course, we talked about decide what you want. Plant your goal in your mind. It's the most important decision you'll ever make in your entire life. What is it that you want, right? Do you want to be an outstanding salesman? Do you want to excel at your particular job? Do you want to go places in your company, in your community? Do you want to grow your business? Well, going the extra mile will allow you to attain these goals. The formula to follow here is to keep in mind the quantity, the quality, and your mental attitude when you render a service. So here are some benefits of going the extra mile. Rendering more service than is expected of you, either in the workplace or to your customers, over delivering to your customers, brings you in the light of those who are in power. And it can give you the opportunity to move up the ladder at in your workplace, in your field, but also um, competitively to be noticed by um, customers better than you would if you were just doing the basics, not pushing the bar, not pushing the standards. Number two, the habit of rendering more service than is expected of you increases your returns. So service you render will bring back greater than average compensation. And a perfect example of that I can give you is to look at how nature forces men to go the extra mile to produce food. Let's talk about farming for a second, right? Before a farmer plants his crop, he must decide how and when to till his fields. Tilling means to prepare the soil and make a good seed bed in which to plant the seed. Now, the farmer needs to plow the seed and the farmer needs to know when is the right season to plant specific crops. All this must be done in advance without any compensation. The farmer must um, execute these, these extra steps. And once those are done and they're done properly, he can then, he waits for nature to do her part. And within time, nature cultivates the seed planted, matures it, and gives it back to him. Not only the seed he planted, but an increase of a hundred times more than he planted to compensate him for his hard work, for him going the extra mile in advance. This is the same law that is applicable on a job. This is the same law that is applicable in business. You have the opportunity to go the extra mile, to over-deliver to your customers, to over-deliver in the workplace, and you do it with a positive mental attitude. A third benefit is, is it makes you indispensable in your field of work, putting you in a position to write your own paycheck. Another benefit is it helps you excel in your line of work 
Because each time you decide to provide a service, you set out to do a better job than you did the last time you gave this service. So if you sold a product, you create a product, the next time around you, you aim to do a better job, to outdo yourself. And therefore, that helps you to get a lot better in your work in the field and what you do. Another benefit is if you work for others and you don't own your own business as of yet, this will give you a leg up for when others are laid off and the company decides to downsize. They will keep you around because you have been going above and beyond for them and with the uh, smile on your face the whole time. Another benefit is because others around you are not going the extra mile, you are set apart. You stand out to management. You you stand out to um, customers as an elite individual. Another benefit will be it will improve your personality and likability with other people. Number eight, another benefit is it developed a keen and alert imagination because you are always seeking a better way to provide good, useful service. Number nine, it will inspire you to move on your own personal initiative instead of waiting to be told what to do. And that is a great trait for leadership and for growth and people around you will take notice. Number 10, another benefit is to develop greater self-reliance and gives you more courage to move ahead without fear of criticism from others. At that point, you will not worry or care what others think of you because you are focused on providing a critical service. Number 11, it helps you to Master the destructive habit of procrastination, the number one habit, which is the cause of failure, y'all. Number 12, another benefit is it influences other people to respect your integrity. It inspires them to go out of their way to cooperate with you in a friendly manner. So we simply, when you have a question or a need and you need a favor, you need somebody to return that favor, they will do it with no questions asked because you've deemed yourself worthy or you've actually been providing more service than you are requesting. Number 13, it helps you develop definitiveness of purpose, the starting point of all success. It stops you from drifting through life without knowing where you are going. And number 14, it pays in big dividends. It provides you with an opportunity, ask your employer for a promotion or to be able to ask more for your services, um, charge more for the products. It gives you the opportunity to grow, actually scale your business because you are over delivering on your service. So simply put, if you do no more than what is asked of you, then you have no right to ask for more money or for more customers as an entrepreneur. You get paid for the service rendered. Number 15 and the last one, this conditions your mind to maintain a mastermind alliance with others by going the extra mile. So if you are currently in a position that won't allow you to go the extra mile, that won't allow you to impact the lives of the people around you, that won't allow you to render more service than you are asked for, it's time to change your position. It's time to change your environment so that you are set up in a place that allows you to go the extra mile. When you go the extra mile, it allows you to grow, to provide more service, to provide more value. Because if you remember... You get paid for the quantity and the quality of value you bring to other people. So if you don't have an opportunity in your current position, you need to change it. You need to really sit down and do some deep thinking and figure out where else can you go to add value. Because if you want to make a million bucks, you got to help a million people. You got to add value to a million people. And so with that in mind, your position is not reflecting this, then you need to find a way to change it. So some actionable items is to start where you are, is to start tomorrow in whatever occupation, wherever you are, is to start rendering some sort of useful service to someone near you who does not expect you to actually help them. So the second thing you need to do this with a smile on your face, a positive mental attitude showing that you are engaged doing it, you enjoy doing it, and you expect nothing back in return. Number three, I urge you to do this for seven days in succession and see how your environment will change. And number four, don't tell anyone what you are up to. You will find that 
by the end of the seven days, you will be happier and be liked by everyone around you. And so morning enthusiasts, that is a short episode today on how to go the extra mile. Rendering more service than what is expected of you, just like the farmer. If the farmer did not go the extra mile in tilling and plowing the soil and planting the crops, the human race would not survive for more than one season. If we can copy Mother's Nature's habits, we cannot go wrong in doing so. I urge you to go the extra mile, render more service than you are paid so that you can receive in abundance. Don't forget to rate the show and I will see you at the top of your best morning routine ever. Stay blessed. Well, all right, morning enthusiasts, that's it for today's show. Thank you for tuning in. If you love the best morning routine ever podcast, we'd love to hear from you. So go ahead and subscribe, rate, and give a review on iTunes or Google Play. While you're at it, tell a friend about the show. Be sure to visit bestmorningroutineever.com and our Facebook group to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic free bonus content. Until next time.